NL East win predictions according to BaseballProspectus.com. I think this is pretty fair because I think you can make a case for those top four teams uh, with the exception of the Marlins. And that's, you know, they're all within four games according to Baseball Prospectus. That being said, we are here in the business of predicting who's the best one in the NL East. D-Train, who you got? You know, I, I still like my boys down in ATL, especially picking up Josh Donaldson to protect Freddie Freeman. It forces the, the pitching staff to pitch to Freeman, and ultimately, that's what they want. He's one of the best hitters in the league, and now he finally has some protection. I love Acuna Jr. He's going to continue to grow. I want him earlier in that lineup, though. I don't think he should be in the heart of the lineup. Maybe he should be one or two. But as long as they get healthy in the rotation, get Fulton Nevis back to, to being healthy, yeah. and get Gosman. Yeah, 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 I, I know Gosman getting out of Baltimore and getting in Atlanta, he's grown. I still like Atlanta down there in the long run. They play well at home, and as long as they don't walk half the league like they did last year, I think they should do well and end up sneaking out the division. Yeah, I mean, obviously they are the champ until knocking off, but I think for myself, I'm going to go a different route. I'm going to make a play for either Philly or Washington. You got to pick one, your... Flopper. I know, right? Uh, <laughs> you, I think... you go on the Bryce Harper connection. Yeah, I know, right? Well, and this is why. I think both teams got better. Okay. Right? I think with Washington losing Bryce Harper, I think they got better, a lot of the distractions. And I also think Bryce Harper going to Philly, I think they got better. Absolutely. And the reason why I say that is because Philly is a blue-collar town, right? You remember when Bryce Harper first came to the big leagues and he was running around the bases with his hair on fire, right? I think he's going to get back to that brand Absolutely. of baseball. $330 million can light a fire under your tail, if you, you know what I mean? And I think with where Bryce is, he's happy. And I was able to be part of this stadium back in 2009 in the World Series. And when this stadium is rocking, that place right there, man, is a fun place to play. They, they have some of the best fans in, in, in baseball. I agree. And especially putting Harper in that lineup, mm -hmm. he has protection all around him. You saw in the highlights, now Reese Hoskins can take shots. Mm -hmm. Michael Franco can take shots with a long ball. But also, the Nationals, it wasn't always Bryce Harper's fault. They can't stay on the field. So health is wealth in D.C. as right. well. So now they have to stay on the field and see and be competitive. They got Corbin in that rotation. I think that's a huge lift for them in that rotation for Washington. But I still like my boy ATL. I'm sorry. I still like them in Atlanta. I'm sorry. Until you're, they get knocked off. You're forgetting about the New York Metropolitans. Something you Met like is going to happen. About the New York Metropolitans. I like the Mets, Listen, too. Usually something Metsian does happen, right? Yeah. Somebody gets hurt. Metsian, bro. He's taking Most over. people get hurt. <laughs> but look, you, you give me a better three right now than their top three with DeGrom, Syndergaard, and Wheeler right now. Serious And, and now problem. they got Edwin Diaz closing in. Their bullpen is also familiar. Sick. I mean, they got a lot of people they, at the back end of there. I like the Mets. I think the division is a crapshoot, right? Yeah. I, I can't go against anything you say, but I, I'm going to, listen, I got to represent a little bit. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs>